Hey guys, it's Misty with my paper cuts and I am back today with another project share for my Crafting from the Shadows Halloween series. So for today's project, I used this stamp set that I shared from Clearly Besotted. It is called Scare Bears and it has bears dressed up in costumes that are uh, modern day horror movie villains with some cute sentiments and these this cute little neighborhood of rundown houses. And I also used, finally, <laughs> the Lawn Fawn pop-up platform die. And I also have the add-on that goes with it that does like the, the scenery on the back. So I used that die. And then these are the inks that I used as well. So here is the back of the card. And I used the sentiment, do you like scary movies? Now I know that is for Scream but I thought it suited using the characters from all the scary movies. So for these cards, you can actually fold them flat to put them in an envelope. Mine's a little chunky because I use some heavyweight cardstock, but um, it'll still fit in a six by six envelope very easily. And then you push on the bottom here and it pops up into this cute little 3D scene. So what I did was, um, we'll start from the back here. I actually, I stamped the scene from the stamp set and colored it. Um, these characters and the scene were all colored with a mix of Copic markers and Spectre Noir tribe lens. Um, and then I masked off the scene and inked the background with Wilted Violet and Villainous Potion. Those are my two favorite purples for Halloween. And then the platform itself, I have the grass add-on, or the grass piece here, the grass piece here, and the hillside here. But I put so many characters on here, you can't really see that. So I went ahead and left it black. So then we have the bear dressed as Chucky in the back, and we have that wonderful critter from Stranger Things. Then we have Scream, we have Freddy, of course we have Jason. And then what I did on the platform was I cut out a little rectangle because I wanted Pennywise coming out from the sewer. <laughs> so I, that was my thought with putting him down there and I, I love the way it turned out. And then the panels are stamped with fired brick oxide and I used this background stamp from Tim Holtz, um, Stampers Anonymous called Cracks and Specs. I used the specs. I wanted it to look like blood splatter a little bit but that is my card um it doesn't look like much but it was a lot of work because i did crazy here maybe i'll give you guys a closer look first so you could see all the characters in the background there oh there is also a little bit of splatter with decayed mica mist just for some stars but those are those are my cute little characters I put some extra effort into this because I just thought this is something that the people I give this to, I know they would keep this and put it out year after year. And the fact that it pops down just by pressing on this part and goes flat again makes it super easy to store. Of course, it would still take extra postage to mail. Um, I would probably put this in a bubble mailer just to be safe, but it pops up and down so easily. And this piece is an add-on. You can make one. Here's a sample one without that background piece. So you can just make a flat one. And I believe this will fit into an A2 size envelope pretty easily. As long as you kept the background characters pretty low. So again, that is the Lawn Fawn pop-up platform die. And the stamps are from Clearly Besotted called Scare Bears. And then I'll show you that I did do, <laughs> like a crazy person, I did eight of these little guys. And I honestly, I would love to make more. It was a little bit of work and kind of figuring it out. Um, there might be too many characters on there, but I really wanted to include them all. So um, I can't wait to use this die for Christmas as well because it's, it'll just be fun to do little scenes without having to mask and layer things on a card. So there's my eight little projects for today. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.